Yeah, so basically everyone's kind of finishing up their pro seasons now overseas. And so we'll have seven days, roughly a week, to go home, go where you need to go, and then head out to California after that. And then I think we have to have a three-day quarantine and then get tested to get back into the USA gym. So by the time I get out there, I should only have three weeks and for training. And then the group that uh, it's a group of 18, I believe that are going to volley nations league. And that is a bubble in Italy. Um, so yeah, men's and women's all in the same bubble, all in the same city. I don't know how this is going to work. I think it's going to be straight up like AAU convention style. We're going to have like three men's games going on four women's games. It's going to be strange, but we're in a bubble for, let's see, I think we end like June 25th or something is finals week. Long time in a bubble. Um, yeah. And then after that, actually during VNL is when the roster of 12 for all the Olympic teams will be announced. So we'll find out when we're all together Dang. in a bubble, which that's is heavy. really, it's, that's going to be real dicey. Um, oh. You know, like, yeah, it's wild. So everyone will find out then and either have their dreams made or their souls crushed. So much fun. And then after that, um, we will go back to California, start training again, and then head to Tokyo probably a little earlier than expected just to do all the bubble stuff, COVID testing, <clears throat> onboarding. Um, and then I don't know when the Olympics start exactly, but it'll be middle of July is when the like, actual competition starts. What's going to be the most important thing for you guys to bring home gold in Tokyo? Like the one thing you're like, we have to be able to do this. Cause I mean, obviously everybody knows Brazil's like always been a uh, last time kind of uh, China too, but um, has been kind of like the Achilles heel of the U S women's national team in like recent Olympics. But what is it about their team that brings mm. up the most challenges for you guys? And what do you guys think is going to be the biggest thing going into the tournament? Yeah, I think for us, we run a really specific type of system and we're really freaking good at that system when we are like humming and getting after it but if we get out of system it's a little harder for us and we don't have these massive bangers like Boscovich and Zuting to like take care of these types of out of system balls so that's like more technical things it's just handling those situations and being really good and high ball and getting the ball back um and honestly, it's just going to be about like full buy-in. Like we, there's a reason why the USA team, like we all play overseas. Like we're all really freaking good and we're amazing players. So putting it all together and like being truly happy for whoever the six or seven are on the court. And then that bench being ready to come in and make an immediate change is going to be huge. Cause I think that's I don't know, kind of been our Achilles heel. Achilles heel is just injuries and then, like, coming off the bench, like, we don't have many options um, to be able to make that change fast. So it's going to be tough, but it's, you know, it's exciting. It's kind of sad that our family and friends can't come and see us, but they'll be able to watch on TV. And, um, yeah, so fingers crossed I get to be one of the 12. Hey, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this clip of If You Can't Handle the Heat. I'm here to inform you guys that we have plenty more juicy information and storytelling on the full episode. Make sure you click the link below. We're both on Apple Music and Spotify. It's easy. Click the link below. Bam. A lot more information coming your way. Now, let's get back to the magic.